hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will discuss about uh, using docusign using power automate so first of all you have to create a docusign developer account by providing your first name last name and email information so that you can get the account id information and the secret key uh, for, from docusign website so provide information let me provide my information here this is my email id first name last name and give a company name and uh, choose the status of the DocuSign partnership if it is not applicable choose uh, not applicable then proceed further so choose none in the status and click ok or submit so once you click on get started by checking the checkbox uh, with the agreement it will navigate to the uh, developer account of DocuSign and you have to check your email box that you have provided for activation so let me check my gmail and click the activation link this is my docusign email i have received so i can click that so that i can click on activate button so that it will be activated now once it is activated you have to provide a password um, to activate your developer account and now it is activating now once it is activated you have to navigate to the settings page in the menu item settings page is there once you click on settings you can navigate to the uh, apps and uh, key area so click on settings and in the settings it will take some time to load and here you have to click on the uh, apps and keys area where you will find user id api account id and base url when you call http this informations are required otherwise it is not required um, because we have a docusign inbuilt connector so we can use that so let us create a sharepoint site where i want to create a uh, list item so that my requirement is whenever a new item is created in a list i want to attach a template document template for signing docusign so create a site and add some members to the site so let me add myself as a member and finish it and once it is created i can add some columns for my list by default title is there but i want to add some more like customer name and customer email to store customer information so i have already added and now if you click on list you can click on blank list and give a list name here so the list name is let's say customer info and click on create so by default it will create the list name is customer info where you will find title column by default and some hidden columns like id uh, and uh, other things which are part of sharepoint uh, concept list concept but i want to add new columns like customer name and customer email id so click on text type and click on next give a uh, caption name here to store the customer name and another column email to store the email address of the customer to whom I will send the document for signing so store the email id here uh, in email column right so if you don't want to use uh, you know docusign connector you can use uh, uh, http call also using their base url and uh, api access key so let us create a uh, status field also I want to create multiple uh, status fields for example first is created then approval in progress or pending for approval pending approval then we have next is uh, approved and rejected So once it is done we are okay with the list uh, in SharePoint 
now let us create a uh, power automate flow which will run as soon as a new item is created in this list so go to power platform power automate screen and create a new item but before that you have to create a template which document template which you want to send to the customer so let's say i want to design a uh, template where the customer name will be dynamically populated in power automate that will be picked from the list item uh, name field that is created right so dear and after that it will be dynamically display the customer name picked from the uh, item that is created in the sharepoint list so give a name here id of the uh, text box by navigating to the properties provide the customer name as a title so that this is this is representing as a id so that i can replace in power automate so customer name use in the tag same and click ok now give some dummy content here it's just for sample purpose uh, it's not related to any uh, existing template i'm just giving some information here you can generate using your uh, microsoft 365 copilot also okay so thank you for your application you have to send this document just dummy text document with uh, docu shine or digital signature using docu shine before shine you have to be ready with below documents some sample documents i want to mention below as a list now insert a list uh, component here in ms word and depend some text here let's say identity proof and address proof just close this using regards and and team and i want to add another page because my template might have multiple uh, pages so in the next page i want to add some uh, content also by using a page break i can insert new text so once it is done i can save it I want to insert an image for example so let's use image by connecting to a stock images repository so that it will insert some image just a sample document I am creating you can create your own according to your need so click on page break so that it will create another page in your document and uh, write down some dummy content you can add some declarations here why i am taking i am taking multiple pages because multiple pages will be signed uh, in real world it's not that you should have always one page in the document so in the savage now save this as a word document called as doc sign template and this template must be uploaded in the SharePoint okay so let us upload this because we will connect this template to replace dynamically with the new customer and send for DocuSigns now create a power automate let's say automated cloud flow and give a name here let's say I want to give a name DocuSign demo and choose SharePoint and trigger is when an item is created and 
then the site address you can choose the site address you can copy the site address manually if it is not automatically displaying so this is my site address i can copy from browser and paste it in the uh, power automate site address as a custom value now you can choose the list name as customer info so as soon as a new item is created in the customer info i want to first uh, read the word document template and replace the dynamic customer name so use populate uh, a microsoft word template step action step using word online and here you can choose which location your file is, is available so this is my website uh, this is my site docs doc site and choose documents and choose the file you have to choose the template file docs template file now in this step you will need to provide the uh, placeholder name the customer name that we have inputted in the document template with the recent item created in the sharepoint called as name so the customer name will be dynamically populated in the word template next is i want to directly send this prepared document to the docusign so i can add docusign uh, connector and in the docusign connector i have to provide username password to connect docusign uh, application but i don't want to convert to pdf right now you can convert to pdf also if you want okay and you want to if you want to uh, share your document in the sharepoint you can share that but i want to just call a uh, docusign uh, application or connector to directly use the actions provided by the docusign uh, connector so search docusign and once you click on docusign you can use all these actions as per your need so i have used first action in the docusign called as create envelope where i have selected the account and provided the email subject and the email body you can give more uh, subject to the email body next is add documents to an envelope while creating an envelope you have to add documents i am selecting account here and envelope as envelope id from the previous step and as a document i am using base 64 with the output of the populate word template step and document type is docs and the name is consent okay this is the file name next i am adding a recipient to the envelope so that uh, to whom the envelope will be sent then send envelope send envelope will send to the customer for signing now let us test this how it will be tested when you create a list item in the customer info list so go to the customer info list item in the sharepoint and create a item so let me go to the site docusign site and go to the list called as customer info then the customer info create a new item so when you click on new item you have to provide the title name email status and save it as soon as you save it the power automate will run and try to replace the word document uh, placeholders or variables with uh, the customer name and it will directly send to the docusign for signing process so it will send an email uh, to the recipient for document signing let us create and save it and see how it works go to the power automate and see what the power automate gives the steps now you can see here it is trying to run the power automate or run the power uh, flow it created an envelope it added the document to the envelope also it sent an envelope to the recipient now if i open my email id i will get the uh, action required email for signing the document i can click on the review document which will open the document inside docusign server here i can sign in the document here you see the name is replaced with the new name customer dynamically customer name dynamically and there are two pages i can sign i can add signatures so this is the philosophy of uh, docusign to add signatures you can draw your signatures also manually if you want to draw it okay or you can select a style from this uh, selected style here let me choose this and adopt and sign 
I can resize this sign. I can go to the next page also to sign in the every page. So you need to sign every page. Then you click finish so that the process will complete. Now you click on finish. You can add stamp also if you want to add a stamp. So let's say this stamp I want to create a stamp of my uh, as a customer. So here you have to select a stamp by providing the uh, name. It's telling that page enter a Japanese name that is fewer than five characters. So we don't want to choose any name here. Okay, but let me choose a create stamp option. Okay, if you give any name also, it is not working right now because of some reason. We have to find out the way how to uh, choose a stamp. But otherwise, you can create a new stamp. Let me use some Japanese name if it is possible. Let's say I want to use Amy and see what happens. So let me use here. No, it's not working, right? So what we will do? We will create it. So click on create and choose a uh, sample stamp and click next. Make this as a default stamp. Click adapt. Now a stamp will be created and added to the page so you can add this stamp in every page also if it is required so it's kind of signing the document with your stamp and signature once it is done click finish once you click finish it will ask you to whom you want to send this signed document you can provide the email id of the recipient here so that this person will receive an email with the document which is signed so click on send now the process ends now the power automate fix the template replace the dynamic value in the template send to the docusign for signing and the signed document is uh, sent back to the owner uh, by the customer right so this is how you can integrate docusign with power automate with sharepoint documents you can also integrate with dataverse files if you want thanks everyone for watching this video i think this is very helpful in real business scenarios See you guys. Bye.